This is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Number one, what do you usually do when you make a mistake? Mm -hmm. A, admit you made an error and try to fix it. B, try to figure out why you made the mistake in the first place. Or C, laugh at your silly mistake and ask for help so you don't make another one. Okay. When I make a mistake, it, I guess it depends on the level of mistake. Because, for example, let's say someone accuses you of doing something wrong. If it's something silly, like, oh, I accidentally booped someone standing next to me. I say, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that, right? You know. But if it's something serious, like, oh, you made a horrible calculation error and now you're in huge trouble for it. Uh, well, let me double check to make sure what you're saying is right before I admit to the, the fault of the mistake, right? And then figure out why I did it wrong. I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. So I would say if it's if it's a silly thing that's not serious, probably A. If it's a serious thing, probably B. Figure out why I made that mistake so I make sure I don't make it in the first place. But double check actually isn't even here. Like just making sure you really what happened happened isn't even there. So I would say it's A or B, but it depends on the situation. Number two. Oh wait. How do I Am I supposed to write how am I supposed to write what am I writing down? It didn't say to write down anything. Right? It didn't say to write down one, two, or three. <laughs> so, what am I writing down? All right, let's continue. I don't even know what we're supposed to do. What's the first thing you do when a friend cancels plans on you last minute? A, tell them it happens and find another way to spend your time. Mm -hmm. B, feel upset about it, but move on eventually. C, try to find another day to hang out and have fun together. If it were just a friend casually, I would do C. Yeah, it would be C. I was like, well, I still want to hang out with you. Can we do it another time? B, I could feel like B would would be this case if, if for example, the, this is a friend who's canceled on you before and they just habitually cancel on you. Now you're going to start feeling B. You're going to start feeling hurt, right? Like A doesn't even seem to make sense. To me, A is like, well, didn't you want to hang out to begin with? If you wanted to hang out, then let's do C. It, B, I can understand B or C, but if it's just the first time it happens, it's definitely C. And once you go to the dark side, um, it's hard to go back from that. You know what, you know what I'm saying? Number three, how would you normally react if someone was angry with you? A, give them space to be angry before talking to them. B, try to work things out right away. Or C, tell them jokes until they forget their anger. Uh, honestly, for me, it's probably B. Because I feel like if something's wrong, it doesn't matter how long you wait, it's still wrong. And you want to stop, I want, if something went wrong, if I did something wrong, I prefer to know about it right now. So that it can be talked out, hashed through, and fixed now. And if it's a case that it can't be worked through, then at least I know that so that I can leave the person alone. But I would say B for me for sure. It's B. Fuck you. You're a liar. Number four. What's the first thing you would do if you won the lottery? A. Pay off your bills and put the rest in a savings account. B. Go on vacation and make new happy memories. Or C. Buy that cool thing you've been wanting for a while. A. Immediately A. Make sure that everything's paid off completely. I have no outstanding debt whatsoever. Have the rest of it in an account and then decide what I want to do with it next. I would not do the... As much as I want to go on a vacation with my wife, A is the more important thing to do for sure. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Number five. What's the first thing you would do if you had to choose between two equally good things? A. Think on your previous experiences so you make an informed decision based on facts. B, make a list of pros and cons, and then choose the option with more pros. Or C, ask someone for their opinion and do what they suggest. I have a very analytical mind. So for me, it might, it's probably B. Like for example, if my, if my wife and I are trying to decide what we're gonna eat, it's our day off and we're gonna order out, right? Okay, well we can either get Mexican or we can get Indian. Well, here's the pros and cons. The pros is that, I mean, we haven't had Mexican in a while. You can get a delicious burrito, you can get tacos, you get a variety of stuff. What are the cons? Oh, well, actually, one of the meals we're planning to make later on in the week is Mexican-themed, so we probably don't want to have Mexican this week because we're going to have Mexican later on in the week. 
See, so for me, it's definitely B. I had to lie about things because I had to protect my family, right? Number six. How do you usually handle a major disagreement in the workplace or in school? A. Calmly discuss the disagreement and try to come up with a compromise. B. Go to a supervisor or teacher who would be able to help figure out what to do. Or C. Get the other person to see your side of things. Uh... Well, here's the thing. Probably the first thing you want to do is explain your side of things. You can't... Technically, you can't do A without C. A is like the, the end of it. Like, C is like, here's my side of things, just agree with me. A is, so you know my side of things, we'll agree to disagree, but still get along, let's compromise. Probably you start with C, but then eventually you try to go to A. So I would say A. Number seven. What would you usually do if you had a big project due tomorrow? A. Get started on it right away so you'll be able to relax later. B. Take some time to relax first, and then start working on it as soon as you're done relaxing. Or C. Alternate between working on it and taking breaks. Uh, depends on the project. Sometimes you can just barrel through something and get it done first and then relaxing after makes sense. But sometimes, especially if it's something where you're just stuck in front of a computer screen or staring, like for, for example, when I'm working on my taxes, you know, I'm staring at that screen, my eyes start to bug out. I'm looking at a spreadsheet, I'm like, oh my God, you know, it bothers me. So you gotta take like a five minute break and get up and leave and then come back. So I would prefer A, but if I have to do C, I would do C. I would never do B first. It would probably be A for me here. Ultimate laziness. Number eight. Which of your responsibilities would you eliminate if you could? A. <laughs> paying bills. <laughs> B. Doing laundry. Or C. Picking up after yourself. A. Doing laundry and picking up after yourself are just common things you can do easily throughout the day. It's not a big deal. It's easy to get into habits. Bills are, you know, could be a very fluctuating thing depending on life instances and things like that. It's definitely A. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yup. Number nine. How would you habitually react when someone compliments you? A. Accept the compliment and give them one in return. B. Accept the compliment and thank whoever complimented you. Or C. Don't accept the compliment by saying you don't deserve it. Oh, uh, B. B for and me, for sure. number ten. How do you normally respond when you embarrass yourself? A. Acknowledge and validate your feelings, but realize it doesn't matter in the long run. B. Try to pretend like nothing happened, but internally obsess over the feeling uh, of embarrassment. Or C. Feel upset over it and possibly even cry. Usually for me, it's just A at this point. Like, when I, when I was younger, it probably would have been B. But now I just don't... I've been through so much shit on a line that I just don't care anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just literally don't care about shit that people say about me or you try to embarrass me. I just don't give a shit. So, A. Okay, are you ready for your results? If you got mostly A's, your mental age is between 40 and 55. Uh, now wait a minute. They never said to write down A, B, or C. I didn't know if it was a number calculation or how it was going to work. So now I'd have to go back and recalculate everything to figure this out. I said a lot of A's, but I also said a lot of B's. I don't think I ever said a C, did I? I don't think so. Your mindset is more so self-assured and secure. You tend to think about things in a matured manner. If you answer B the most... Your mental age is 20 to 40 I mean, years old. honestly, I, I think you I said struggle. B the most, didn't I? I said either A or B the most. I don't think I barely ever said C. Go with finding your way. And though it may be difficult, you always wind up on the right path in the end. If you answered mostly C's, your mental age is between 10 and 20 years old, and your perception of the world is young and bright. Yeah, see, I barely said C at all. I think what it is is I'm a lot of B's, but I'm now starting as I'm getting older, I'm turning into an A type. So, and it makes sense. As I get older, I'm more mellowing out. I'm not caring as much. I'm trying to be more metered. Let's compromise, right? It's not my way or the highway anymore. And that's A. So, that makes sense. <clears throat> okay. You are a liar. A dirty, filthy liar. Okay. Guys, gals, and everybody else, thank you. This was a great DSP versus the internet show. There was a great amount of variety on said show. I really enjoyed it. I want to say thanks to the few people who did support the channel, whether it was a membership, a super chat, gifted membership, or a tip. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get some pulls. Come on. Pull the gotcha. Pull on my gotcha. Come on. You know we got to get some pulls. Oh, for Here it comes. Or are they just selling them on the black market? Oh! Oh! So now, now hold on a second here. Now I've got the evidence. I've had enough. Contact Stuttering Craig, that motherfucker, right? Who a year ago during his interview was trying to tell me that I was making a racist joke 
during a playthrough that I made. I literally just made the same exact joke about children on the black market in 2010, and that was 12 years prior. It's the same joke. It has nothing to do with racism. Stuttering Craig is just a fucking asshole, all right? He fucking had to pick that shit and try to pull a race card on me during an interview when it had nothing to do with reality. It's literally the same fucking joke 12 years before. I just reiterated it in a modern playthrough, and everyone said, Oh, in 2022, you can't say that anymore. Well, there you go. 100% evidence, and it's with a white child, not a black child. It's the same fucking joke that I made, all right? So there you go. There's your fucking evidence. I've had enough of that bullshit. What was the name of the foster family that adopted you? You could call me an asshole. You can call me uh, an e-beggar. You can call me irreverent. You could say that I've said awful things over the years, but the one thing you can never accuse me of is racism because I've never been racist ever in my life. That's bullshit. I was playing a woodwind instrument. I'm Japanese. Oh, it's an Asian. Take him out. So turn you on. That's what you're doing. I'd be willing to stop with anything that might be viewed as racist if you feel it's a problem for your advertisers. Yeah, that's what always gets me about people online who want to say people are racist and try to cancel them. It's like, wait a minute. Unless someone overtly made a insult about a race, it's not a racist joke. It's not a racist comment. If you are assuming race in the joke, then you're the racist. You're the one who sees race when the other person probably doesn't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god, he's drinking gin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for all of your attention, for all of your support, and for all of the love and views over these years. Really, if it's not for you guys, I wouldn't be here 14 years later able to reminisce about my past like this. So thank you all so very much. Here's to another awesome 15 plus years of content creation. Whether it's all gameplay or not is debatable. But it's going to be fun. Thank you all. I'll see you next time for Retro React. This is Heavy Rain. Signing off. Peace out, everybody. In one way or another, I'll probably be working till I'm dead. And I've, I've kind of accepted that, that, that reality. And, you know, yeah, if I'm 50, 60 years old and I still have to play video games for a living, <laughs> maybe I could, maybe the formula will change. It is what it is. That's my, that's my reality, you know. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>